Hello Tacticians, it's Elmnox here, playing Warhammer 40k Tacticus, and if it is one update we've just had, if you haven't had the update, by all means check your store and then try and update it manually, because it is there, and it has got some goodies there for us. The first, they are introducing the Tau Empire, now they're not actually giving much away here at all. As you can see, very much like with the Eldari, all we've got is a bunch of silhouettes. Now, I'm guessing this is the first guy we're getting, the Pathfinder. This looks like a drone, although part of me really hopes it could be a stealth suit. But at 10, I think a drone is more likely. Uh, the 250 could be anything. It could be a Fireblade. It could be an, um, an Ethereal. Again, I just cannot tell these apart. Now, I'm hoping this one over here is maybe Farsight, the 500. And maybe another battle suit here. But, as with all these things, time will tell. But, first of all, we will actually see the Pathfinder very soon, in the middle of December. As we continue, they've added a new campaign mode, the Elite Campaign, for the Indomitus, with battles 1 to 16 now playable. Now, I have actually played through these already, and there's not much that's too difficult. I've got my teams of the, my Imperials, which I did use. I didn't use my... Um, Sisters of Battle, but the Ultramarines and the Astra Militarum, and to be precise, Yarrick and Creed, uh, were very good here. Now, as I said, I think Creed may have carried me a bit, but as long as you've got about Bronze 2, you shouldn't find the first eight uh, very difficult, and indeed, the next uh, eight uh, shouldn't be too much of a challenge either. Although I would like to hear from you to see if Creed has had uh, a big impact for me to go through these, because I did find at least the later levels fairly easy when you can just spam the um, the troops and let Creed do his thing. We've also got a new boss for the guild raids, Zarek the Silent King. Uh, joined in battle by Hapthatra the Radiant and Mesafet the Shadowed Hand and supported by his triarchal men here. I'm guessing they're going to be like the side bosses that we've got at the moment uh, with the Tyranids. Uh, moving on, we've got the new collectible characters. In the Eldari, we've got Morgan Ra, the Phoenix Lord, one of the Dark Reapers there. Unlockable in the Path of the Phoenix event, starting on no December the 4th. That's this weekend. Now, no one actually knows what we need to do with this, so all that I've been doing is making sure all of my characters are around Bronze 1 to Bronze 2, with uh, my favourite up in Silver 1 and 2. Hopefully that's enough, but I've got some characters, I haven't got all, uh, Creed there is my only legendary, so hopefully I've got enough to do at least unlock and possibly get even further with Morgan Ra. We've got new quests coming up, we've got uh, the Death Guard Pestilion, uh, the Biologus Putrefire on December 14th, and Calendus the Ranger on December 28th. Now Calendus, if you haven't got him, make sure you go through this quest and try and get as many of those shards as you need to try and unlock him. He is an absolute all-star in virtually every single uh, mode of this game. Well, apart from the raids. He's not so great there, but in PvP and the arena, he really does shine. And finally, the tournament arenas are back. We've got two again this month, one on the 1st of December and one on the 22nd. We then have some quality of life updates, with the guild leaders who are inactive for 30 days will now be demoted, and uh, the officer who's been playing the longest will be promoted to leader. The onslaught missions have had six sectors added to each lane for a total of 108 new battles for anyone who has actually maxed those out. And then we've got balancing changes to many of the much-loved or maybe hated characters, including Angrax, who's had both a buff to his health and armour, so now he won't actually die in a stiff breeze. Marnius Kalgar has also had a massive buff with 200% base extra damage. So you can he might actually do some damage now when you see him in the arena and also in the live PvP. Kalandis has had a bit of a nerf with less armour, although they have increased his power score by approximately 30%, although it has no effect on the gameplay, but it will increase your power level that you've got. And Scarab Swarms. They will actually do 10% less damage. Now this probably isn't a massive... Uh, change in the whole scheme of things, but it probably is a nerf because Aleph and Earl was literally used in every single part of the game, and people may be encouraged to try something else in place of her. And one final one, they've reduced the difficulty of the last 15 battles in the Indomitus campaign, so if you want to get to those elite campaigns, getting those last 15 battles done is going to be a touch easier. So why should we care about the Elite Campaign? Well, to begin with, it will now give twice the amount of resources that it normally does However, you will need to check for yourself, because obviously, even though it does give twice the amount of resources, if it is all of a sudden um, there is a less chance, 
you'll probably be still better off doing the higher percentage drop chance on the normal campaigns than you would be by doing the, the low percentage chance here, even though they give two, because obviously these do need more energy to complete, and where it's 10 energy for each mission. The other thing to note is, just as with the normal missions, when you do complete one of the campaigns here, like number eight, just like with the normal missions, you'll actually get a new quest pop-up um, for uh, the requisition scroll. Now, I have just finished all 16, and I've got this 10 arena battles to do and win a 30, 30 lightning victory. So keep that in mind when you're actually going through and you're nearly completing to make sure you've got enough energy for the following day or even the same day to complete them. So what do you guys think of this new update? Personally, I think it's uh, a vast improvement on what we've had before, and I really hope this is the way things will be carrying on on the way forward. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.